Okay, in, in here we have uh, just a typical air handler and the coil has been now fully wrapped and insulated. Coils in here and then we have a, a bypass valve. So um, when you need heat, the bypass valve opens and runs the, the hot water through the coil and then back to the boiler. And that does the bottom floor of this, home, this uh, retreat. And then here's the second air handler with another bypass valve. And so that's, all right, three items, a water heater, two air handlers. And now the fourth component, which is the second water heater. Let's see here with a heat exchanger plate. I'm gonna insulate these things. I just got this thing connected and tested and everything's coming up to, up to speed, up to temperature. And then out here in the utility room, there's this octopus of lines coming into two manifolds. The top one is the supply, the bottom is the return. Here I've got a digital display right now telling me that the water temperature at the manifold is 175 degrees. I've got that little thing up there. So it's kind of a, you know, it's kind of complicated, but... Uh, you have a thermostatic valve, and this works like a, a heart. It shunts the water back to the boiler if the temperature isn't hot enough. And it has three temperature internal settings. And so it, uh, if you forget to put wood on the stove or the stove goes out, it, will not, it keeps the heat back at the stove and will not let it go to your emitters, that being your water heaters and your air handlers. So I know this is probably, I hope this is making some sense. But uh, anyway, that's punched through the, the wall. We hammer drilled that through and that's gonna go back out to the boiler, which I'll show you here in a minute. So, okay, everything is running, seemingly working well. Checked for leaks and no leaks right now. And we are going to, I'll check it in the morning. All this is gonna be insulated and hung up, but uh, not until I make sure nothing's leaking. Okay, so a lot of a lot of work today. A lot of good work was done, and we also put a mixing valve on on the uh, water heaters because the water in the water heater is 175 degrees on average, and so we have to pull some cold water from the cold line in, and it mixes, and so that you don't scald, and you set this uh, basically from 90 degrees to 130 degrees, so it's an anti-scald valve. Two water heaters in this retreat and just finished up hooking up a plated heat exchanger and so we are we are smoking hot that's 180 degrees it'll burn your hand off um, and so the uh, electric won't come on so all the water now is being heated off of wood and uh, we'll get to that so there's one water heater